I'm sure a lot of you have had these conversations with the young people you work with, and we all know that a response is when we pause, think about what we're gonna do before we do it, and then do it. And a reaction is oftentimes when we don't think about what we're gonna do, and we blindly re react. And there's oftentimes much more of a chance that we regret what we do. So. What I think and what I want to offer to you that's important in working with teens is simple, very, very simple definitions on reaction versus responding. The reason is, is because when they have a simple definition, it's more easy to remember. When it's more easy to remember, then there's more of a likelihood that they're going to call upon that definition in a time when they actually need it and use some of the techniques that promote responding over reacting. So very briefly, I like to define response as think before you act and reaction is act before you think very simple one phrase definitions for the young people it's very very easy for them to remember that so i hope that's that works for you now we're going to talk about the stick technique and you might have noticed in the previous video i'm putting this quote up here again you might have noticed that the young man from the juvenile detention camp who used mindfulness to abstain from uh, using marijuana and running away from the detention camp he used a technique called stick stick stands for stop take a breath imagine the future consequences and then choose so what i'll basically do with the young people is oftentimes i'll print out these business cards and i'll give them the business card and then i'll actually take them through a visualization in a scenario that they encounter a lot or they've been through or they think they're going to be through again in the future that could be um being offered drugs, having the opportunity to use drugs when they know they shouldn't, like when they're gonna see their probation officer and get P-tested uh, very shortly after. Something like that, I'll have them go through it and then step by step, I'll have them stop, take a breath, I'll actually have them take a few breaths in and out and breathe in those moments, imagine the future consequences, so I'll guide them in thinking about what could be the advantages, what might be the disadvantages of this action you're about to take, and then I'll have them imagine themselves choosing in the moment. It's really important, and this is very much in alignment with the MBSAT 12 session curriculum uh, that we do, that we empower the young people. So we don't tell them, don't do the drugs. It's their choice in what we do. We want to, them, to, them, we want to empower them to actually choose because we know that when they actually choose their response from 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 an intrinsic motivation they're much more likely to use it again in the future so you can do that in a one-on-one -on -one situation you can use stick and, and, and go through a visualization with a young person or if you're working in a group you can do role plays where you get a few people up in front of the group you get them to act out a scenario that again they would be dealing with uh, consistently in their lives and you have them actually stop when you know you, you kind of coach them a little bit so that in the scenario they stop they actually stop physically what they're doing they take a breath you have them take a breath in front of the whole group you have them think about the consequences out loud just for the sake of the group and then you have them choose and enact what their choice is this is a great way to engage youth in a cognitive based mindfulness acronym to promote responding over reacting now one thing that I'll say before I before we leave you today is that it's very very important to discuss the limitations of stick and other cognitive acronyms too. And there's a bunch of mindfulness based cognitive acronyms out there. We just use this one because in our testing it seemed to work really well with young people, especially young people dealing with drugs. Um, we want to talk about the limitations of stick because there's certain situations that where stick does not apply and those are immediate threat situations. So for example, if the young person you're working with is about to get in a fight, and somebody's cocking back to hit that person in the face, if they do stick in that moment, they will get hit in the face. <laughs> uh, we want to brainstorm with them those types of scenarios because that will ground the technique in reality. You don't, you don't ever want to promote it to them as the silver bullet you know, catch-all technique that's absolutely going to change their life and guarantee that they'll never use drugs again or never get in trouble again. Absolutely not. That's not what it's for. Brainstorm the situations in which it can apply. Brainstorm the situations in which it can apply. It's much more likely that the young people you're working with will use it if you do that. So that stick again is a cognitive based mindfulness acronym. It helps promote responding over reacting. I hope this brief video was beneficial to you and your work. And thank you, thank you so much for joining us today.